Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. This time we're going to take up polynomial functions. But before that, when is an expression said to be polynomial or non-polynomial? Let us have this example. Given x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed minus x squared plus 9x minus 1. This is a polynomial. Why? Because if you're going to observe their exponents, the exponents are all positive at the same time whole numbers. And how about this one? x cubed plus 7x raised to negative 2 minus x raised to 1 fourth plus 8. This is non-polynomial. Because if you are going to observe the exponents of a certain term is negative or fraction. How about this one? Given 7x raised to 5 plus 3x squared minus 6 square root of x plus 2 over x. Is this polynomial or non-polynomial? This is non-polynomial. Why? Because if you're going to observe the third term, negative 6 square root of x, if we're going to write square root of x into another form, that is the same as x raised to 1 half. So therefore, the exponent is fraction. And then therefore, this last term, 2 over x, if we rewrite again into another form, that is the same as 2x raised to negative 1. Then therefore, the exponent is negative. Now, let's go back with our discussion. And what are polynomial functions? Polynomial functions is a function of the form p of x is equal to a sub n x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 x raised to n minus 2 plus dot 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 plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0 where the n here is a non-negative integer. Take note, non-negative, meaning it should only be positive or zero, but not a negative integer. n is also a powers of x in every term of the given polynomial. And the highest or the greatest power of a variable is called the degree of the polynomial. Next, a sub n, x raised to n. This is called the leading term. The leading term is the term with the highest power of x. Next, a sub 0, a sub 1, up to a sub n, they are real numbers called coefficients, or they are the numerical coefficients of the variable in the given polynomial. Next, a sub n, this is the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient is the numerical coefficient of the leading term. And then, a sub 0, that is the constant term. The constant term is the term of degree 0, in which the variable does not appear here. So, take note of these terms. Let us have an example. Given p of x is equal to 7x raised to 4, plus 2x cubed, minus 3x squared, plus 8x minus 5. If you are going to observe, the given polynomial here is arranged in descending powers of x. So from this, we can now identify the degree of the polynomial, the leading term, the leading coefficient, and the constant term. So what is the degree of the polynomial of this given function? That is 4. Next, what is the leading term? That is 7x raised to 4. How about the leading coefficient? That is 7. And the constant term is? negative 5. Okay, very good. So let us have another example. Given f of x is equal to 9x raised to 5 plus 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 8 plus 5x raised to 6. Observe the given polynomial. So you have to arrange this first in descending powers of x. And that is equivalent to f of x is equal to 5x raised to 6 plus 9x raised to 5, plus 2x cubed, minus 7x squared, minus 8. 
And then therefore, we can now identify the degree of the polynomial, the leading term, the leading coefficient, and the constant term of this given function. So the degree of the polynomial is 6, leading term is 5x raised to 6, and leading coefficient is 5, and the constant term is negative 8. Okay, you may try this one. Given the polynomial f of x is equal to 8x squared minus 4 plus x raised to 4 minus 7x plus 3x raised to 5. Now, what is the degree of the polynomial? What is the leading term? What is the leading coefficient? And the constant term. So, the answers will be... First, you are going to rearrange first the given polynomial in descending powers of x. And then, therefore, the degree of the polynomial is 5. The leading term is 3x raised to 5. The leading coefficient is 3. And the constant term is negative 4. Okay. Another one. Given the polynomial p of x is equal to 7x plus x cubed minus 8 plus 9x squared, Identify the degree of the polynomial, the leading term, leading coefficient, and the constant term. So, what's your answers? The answers are 3x cubed, 1, negative 8. I hope you got it all correct. Thank you for watching and learning with me. Don't forget to subscribe, watch, like, and share my video. Till next video.